Hello, my name is Anirudh. I'm doing my EC2035 project on Missile Command and I'm just going to be showing some technical features and some advanced features of the project. First, I implemented the doubly linked list. The doubly linked list contains its own data and a pointer to the next node and as well as the previous node. So inside of the um, doubly linked list.c++ file, I implemented the um, create ll node uh, function the insert head function, the insert before function, um, and that's it. Program and compilation were both done in the embed compiler here. So as you can see here, we're greeted with a game menu and it has two levels as um, portrayed as the academy level and the war level. So let's get started with the academy level by pressing this button. And to show that the aircraft movement is there, I'll just tilt my um, accelerometer left and right. So as you can sh see that the brand new aircraft is moving left and right. So to show that there is mi uh, missile detection, so I'll shoot an um, bullet anti-missile in the sky. And as you can see there, that the um, anti-missile stopped the missile from attacking this city landscape. And um, so the yellow circle shows the radius in which the um, animation is there to show the um, anti-missile detection. So let's see what happens when a um, missile hits the city. So I'll let the missile hit the city for a second and it should destroy this city. So one city got destroyed and another city is getting destroyed now and if this last city gets destroyed the game is over. So let's get that destroyed. So yes, so as part of the requirement the game is over once all of the uh, landscapes of the city have been destroyed. So I'll just be showing what happens when the aircraft gets hit. So when the aircraft gets hit, normally the game is over. So I'll just show a detection of the animation. The purple signifies the animation of the city getting destroyed. So now I'll let the aircraft get hit to show the last way that the player can lose the game. Game over the aircraft has been destroyed by the missile. To free up dynamic, dynamically allocated memory, um, I used um, the destroyed list to get rid of the missiles list, and I used a destroyed list to get rid of the player missiles, which are the anti-missiles. So by doing that, it, the program should free up any dynamically allocated objects that are no longer being used after the game is over. For example, like it should detect, it should free up all active missiles at the end of the game. Another feature is the advancing levels, which should be shown up right here. So we always start at level one and the score is at zero um, as displayed in the left and right corners respectively. So when I press button one and two, it should go to level two. And in that case, in level two, the set missile speed increases, the missile interval increases, as well as the player radius gets decreased and the level is incremented and shown at the top left. So in that case, um, if the missiles are falling at a much faster pace towards the city and there are higher chances that you might die in this level. This is called the war level. So another way you can get to the war level is by pressing buttons one and three. So then you are at level two, right from the game menu. So as you are entered into the um, gameplay, you can see that the um, level um, is displayed as two. So the level was um, just incremented already. And in that case, the um, set missile speed, the set missile uh, interval both increases as well as the player missile radius is decreased. So it'll be harder for you to score and protect the city since the missiles are coming at a much faster pace towards the city here. So, okay. So we're now in level one. Let's just say we want to go to level two. We'll press buttons one and three simultaneously and we'll be in level two. After going to level two, using an advanced feature, I created a super anti-missile. So if I press button three and use the thing, it'll create a limited amount of um, anti-missiles that get rid of the, uh, the super fast coming missiles that are going to be destroying the city. So 
Now, after the third time of using the super anti-missile, they'll go back to the normal second level five radius anti-missile. That's it.